Hey, it's William VE4VR here, and uh, over the long weekend I got to work on a project that I've wanted to try for a while. So right here we have a desktop PC with an IRLP version 3 board in it, and uh, thanks to Dan VE4DRK for giving me that and saying, hey, learn about IRLP. But I got to try something I wanted to do for uh, six months now, or, or maybe even longer. I wanted to hook the Google Assistant and Alexa up to ham radio, so I did that over the long weekend, and now I'll show you how this works. So, um, over in the IRLP box, obviously we've got the hardware there already necessary to control a radio and handle audio. So what I've done is add uh, GRPC support to IRLP. And uh, GRPC, and then I wrote a simple uh, RPC protocol that allows Google to talk to the box to initiate commands. So, over here, this is the SDK example for how to build a push-to-talk Google Assistant product. So I learned how to build a Google Assistant product and modded it to work with IRLP and control transmit and receive and all that kind of stuff. Then over here, this is the receiver end of the uh, RPC service that allows Google to talk to IRLP and bring up links. So I can say, hey, bring up the link to Winnipeg or bring up the link to 1385. And then finally, we've got some process monitoring going on here and the activity with the Apache uh, log. So now over here on the left side, this is the other side of things. So the Google Assistant, um, if I read the documentation, it took me about two hours to learn how to build a, an actual working piece of hardware from scratch and register all the components and get it going. So once you've registered your Google Developer account and you've got all your GRPC stuff and everything sorted out in your audio hardware, uh, you go ahead and you create a, an assistant. So I called this IRLP Assistant. And finally, when that's done, you need an Android phone or a tablet, some old device to, to configure the Assistant app logged in as that Google account. And then you can use services like IFTTT to add easy actions. So you can now have this uh, voice system issue commands. So what I've done over here is when you use the IRLP system, that triggers the Google SDK to run the push to talk example, which then talks to Google over here, which then talks to IRF, IFTTT, which then talks back to Apache, which then talks to the local server and finally completes the whole loop. So all that technical mumbo jumbo aside and here's, here's the end result of this. So I've got a handheld radio and this is programmed up right now. I don't have it listening for hot words, so you have to press an A or a zero to bring up the assistant. And it's still a full-blown IRLP setup. So here I'm gonna bring up the assistant. I'm your Google Assistant. Can you hear me now? Copy that. I can hear you loud and clear. And so how that is working is Google, push to talk example, talks to back in Google, which then talks to IFTTT, which then talks to this, can you hear me now, which then responds and dumps that all back into the radio via the IRLP hardware, which is pretty cool. So that's a neat toy. Now let's actually start doing some real things because this is the whole internet. We can talk to Google and ask it to do anything, bring up links now, what's the weather. So let's find out what the weather forecast is tomorrow. So again, I'm gonna hit A or zero because I just wanna trigger my code. I'm your Google Assistant. What's the weather forecast for Winnipeg, Manitoba tomorrow? In Winnipeg tomorrow, it'll be sunny with a high of 18 and a low of 7 degrees Celsius. All right, so that's perfect. So now it's time to show off all the great things you can do without having DTMF. And I've got to add the hot words in to finish this. So if you see over here, if you say connect to node number or connect to Winnipeg, those are things that I have that are now going to talk to the the RPC service I wrote, which then talks to another backend service, which then talks to IRLP. So all that mumbo jumbo means I can bring up links with voice. I'm your Google Assistant. Bring up the link to Winnipeg. And now I should be able to hear it talk to me. Got it. I'll bring up the link to Winnipeg. Give me a few moments to ask the server. There we go. So we see the station request received for 1385. And now I can finally see I've got the link up and it's a done deal. So that is now established via IRLP and I'm going to stop there. But that is an interesting start for the things you can do by hooking up Google or Alexa to ham radio.